Hello friends, this is Ali from Product Analytics Academy and today I'm going to show you how to exclude your internal users from your analyses on Mixpanel. This is an important thing to do because a lot of times your own team members will use your product in unusual ways like if they're trying to find out if a specific feature is working or not and you don't want to include that usage data in your reports. So we do this exclusion by creating a user cohort made up of our internal users. To do that, we navigate to the top right of the screen and click on this data management button and then we select the cohorts option. This brings us to the page where we can create cohorts. Click on the create cohort button in the top right and we give our cohort a name. I'm gonna call it internal slash test users. And now this is where you actually select the test users. You click on the filter option and I'm gonna select my users via their email address. I'll select email. And the first option here is that you can just pick the users that are internal or test accounts right here. So a lot of times people will make accounts with the word test in them. You can search for that here, or you can just pick the, the names off of the, the list here. Now, this is sample data, so all the emails are, are super fake and they look a little weird, but you know, in your case, there will be ones that you recognize and you can select them. So you go ahead and you add that. That's one way where you can select your, your test users. Alternatively, you can just search by domain name. Say if you want to exclude everybody that has your domain name in their email. For that, you just click on this is button and you select contains instead. And then you pick your domain name. So again, these are fake ones, but I'll just pick one at random.bb and I'll add that in. Now everybody that has this in their email address as part of the domain is going to be included in this internal and test users cohort. I'll go ahead and I create the cohort that way. There we go. Now we have this cohort and what we have to do is exclude this from our reports. Now you might ask, what if we don't track emails? In that case, you have to use another unique identifier that you're tracking. For example, if your internal user IDs are the distinct ID in Mixpanel, then ask someone with access to your database to get a list of user IDs for everyone at your company and then filter by distinct ID instead or select them one by one. So you would come over here and instead of email, you would just search for a distinct ID and you would select it based on that. Again, you would do the contains or you would select them one by one. But in this case, I'm gonna go ahead with emails. This is in pretty much all cases, people tend to track email for their users. And you have to keep that in mind that you do need some sort of unique identifier like this, either email or user ID or something like that. There's no other way to exclude internal users. You can't do it via IP address because Mixpanel doesn't expose a user's ID address. So you have to use some sort of unique identifier in there. All right, so once you've selected your internal users and you've created this cohort, you go ahead and save it. And then you can also share it with the rest of the people in your project to make it easier for them to access it as well. So everyone doesn't have to create it on their own. To do that, you click on the three dot buttons here and you would go through this path. Now, because I'm using a uh, sample data set here that comes for free with Mixpanel, I don't have the share permissions, but you would just click on share here and you would select everybody in the project as the share. Uh, modal and it would share it with everybody in your project. And now every time we want to exclude these users, we just add a filter to any report that says users not in internal users. And here's what I mean by that. I'm going to click on the report section in the top left and select an insights report. I'll make some random report here and let's say everybody who has sent a message, we see them over here. Now if you want to exclude everybody in your internal users cohort, you just click on filters and you search for cohorts. You can click on this where it says all properties, scroll down to where it says cohorts, and this will give you a list of all of your, your um, existing cohorts. I'm gonna pick internal and test users. Here it says users in, so by default it picks everybody in the cohort, but we want users not in. So I switch to that and I add the filter. It doesn't look that different because there was only a few test users, but in some cases, you know, if your test users are very active, it'll make a, a big difference. But the process either way is the same. First, you go ahead and you create a user cohort and you use either email or the distinct ID as the identifier as a way to um, separate and mark all the people who are test users. And then you save and share that cohort with the whole project. And after that, whenever you've got a report, you just add the filter here and you say everybody who is not in that cohort. And if you don't want to have to go and add them one by one to every single report, then you can pick a, uh, a board as a whole. So there's this like sample one over here and you can apply it at a board level. So I clicked on filter for this board, add filter, and you can do the exact same thing. 
can come over here to cohorts, pick internal users, say everybody not in it, and then add that filter. And that applies to filter to every report in that board. And once you save it, even if you click on each of the, the reports on their own, they will have that filter. So that's just a, a faster way to apply it. You can apply it to the whole board that way instead of having to go through and do it one by one for each report. So there you go. That's a simple way to exclude your internal and test users. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.